Hi, my name is Daniela, and today I'm going to read two stories taken from the book Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls, written by Elena Favelli. The first story I'm going to read is about Adelaide Herman, who was a magician. Once upon a time, there was a girl with a flair for the dramatic. While other Victorian girls learned housekeeping skills, Adelaide practiced acrobatics, dance, and a new sport called trick cycling. One night, Adelaide saw a magic show in London that changed her life. The magician Alexander Herman, known as Herman the Great, asked for a volunteer, and Adelaide eagerly raised her hand. The magician set her ring on fire and may made it reappear on a ribbon tied around a dove's neck. A few months later, when Adelaide moved to New York City, she ran into Alexander again. They got married and together became one of the country's most successful magic acts. Herman the Great was the star and Adelaide played supporting roles, including a dancer and a human cannonball. In 1896, Alexander suddenly died. Adelaide was left alone with their magic show, a warehouse of props and animals, and a mountain of debt. But soon it became clear that only one person had the experience to continue Herman the Great's legacy, Adelaide herself. For more than 30 years, Adelaide performed as the Queen of Magic. After a fire tour through her warehouse, Adelaide insisted she'd rise like a phoenix from the ashes. And she did. She continued to tour before finally retiring in her 70s. Her motto was, self-confidence and assurance are most essential to the successful magician. Now I'm going to read another story about Alice Guy Blaché, who was a filmmaker. Once there was a girl named Alice who spent her childhood crisscrossing the globe from France, her mother's home, to Chile, her father's home, to Switzerland, where she lived with her grandmother. When she grew up, Alice became a secretary at a camera company turned film studio. Filmmaking was a new and exciting art form. The very first films were nothing like today's movies. They showed people doing ordinary things. A group of workers simply leaving a factory or a train racing along a track. Alice thought these films were boring and wondered what if film could be used to tell a story. So she borrowed camera equipment and created her first motion picture, The Cabbage Fairy. It was only about one minute long, but it was one of the first films to tell a fictional story. Eventually, Alice became the studio's head of production and experimented with new ways to make films and add special effects. She married a fellow filmmaker, Herbert Blaché, and they moved to the United States. In 1910, Alice opened her own film studio called the Solex Film Company and eventually built a state-of-the-art production studio. It was the largest film studio in the country. Herbert became the company's president, so Alice could be free to make movies. She became the world's first woman filmmaker, creating around a thousand films, many of which survive today. Alice made her last film in 1920 and was forgotten for a long time. But today's filmmakers owe a lot to this pioneering director and producer. So, about the magician, what do you think? Have you ever met a female magician? And have you ever watched a film produced in the 20s, 1920s, which was black and white?